What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. To focus in on the Chicago Blackhawks, cementing themselves as a dynasty, winning their third championship in the last six seasons. You know, really just going out and you know beating a really, really good Tampa team. Um, and you know, the game they played were almost identical to the Boston series uh, two years ago. Uh, you know, win game one, lose two and three, win uh, four, five, and six. So. Uh, definitely a, a really great moment for the city of Chicago. You know, dynasties are rare and rare in pro sports. You get this Blackhawks team, my beloved Wingle Patriots, uh, Shaq and Kobe's Lakers, um, even before that, uh, Jordan's Bulls and the same United Center. So uh, definitely, you know, just a, a rare accomplishment. I think so much of it is owed to uh, the work Stan Bowman's done to, you know, meander the wa the tough waters of salary cap management. Uh, you know, there are, I believe, eight guys on this Blackhawks team that were on the 2010 team as well. Uh, Chris Vestigio obviously got traded away and, and came back. But, you know, just, uh, you know, it, the way they're able to jettison contracts, keep their core intact, and then, uh, you know, go out and just m make sure they're always going to be in the uh, that window. Uh, is a testament to Bowman's abilities as a uh, general manager. And, you know, I think this summer it's going to be tough. There are going to be a lot of tough decisions that have to be made. Um, you know, they got Kane and, and Taves and, and Dunkey for that matter locked up. So beyond that, um, nothing would surprise me. I don't think the move was a, um, Seabrook is, I say 50 50, but unfortunately, guys like Patrick Sharp, uh, Bickle, if they can find a taker, um, you know, Possibly Crawford, although I don't know what that situation looks like. Uh, so, you know, just, uh, but they lose these guys, but they draft so well. Obviously, they got to re sign Brandon Saad, but, you know, drafting him in the second round after every other team really let, let him pass at least once. Um, then, you know, moving in, plugging in a guy like Trevor Van Reams like next season. Um, you know, they've got some, you know, good prospects on the farm. Obviously, Table Terravine come up bases a few times in the playoffs for them. Uh, Ryan Hobbins, a hell of a player. They got. It was a Panarin from the uh, the KHL, you know, on his way. You know, th this team is is built to win, um, and they're, they're going to continue to do just that in the uh, the coming years. Even though they'll, they'll have some new faces, you retool the supporting cast, um, but you, you keep the corner nucleus stack. That, that's a thing um, that you know it's a common thread of all dynasties. Dynast and look at New England. I mean, you know, how many times have they changed? And yeah, they had guys like Daryl Rivas or Randy Moss come and go. The constant is Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. You know, as long as you have those two, the pieces around can kind of fill themselves out. And I think that's what that's been the the mantra in Chicago. Uh, again, they've got to re-sign Brandon Saad. Like that's that's a must do, and they will. Uh, if they get to move a, a big card, if they have to move like closer or someone. Good luck finding, even though, you know what, it's not say good luck finding a taker for that deal. Costa's numbers this year were phenomenal. He's a, and we'll talk more about that. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer in my eyes. Great defensive guy. Um, but, you know, obviously getting a little up there in age, age 36. But this is, uh, you know, take it in Chicago. You know, you might be a little bit, next year might be like the 2010 2011 season where you gotta uh, buckle down and get, the, get into the playoffs. But this team is still built to win long term. You know they're gonna have to make changes this off season. That's the na that's re the uh, nature of the beast. I got stuck with the nature of the beast in reality situation. Um, but you know, given this management team they have in place with a coach Quenville behind the bench, um, you know they're gonna be able to get you know not exactly market value. I mean, how do you get market value back for guys to help you know get you to this point? You don't. But um, you know you, you can get enough represent value to uh, plug in the holes and. You know, like Kane Taves and Duncan Keith do their thing. And uh, props to Duncan Keith. And I'm going to do a whole piece on, on DK because I thought his playoffs was one for the ages. Anyway, that's like an episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the, throughout the off season. Well, right to the off season and beyond. Later, guys.